Not too bad. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> All right, this flywheel rotates with an angular velocity of 0 0.005 theta squared. What is that? The red flag that it's telling me is not a constant angular acceleration problem. You know, not a constant angular acceleration problem. Might have to do derivatives, integrals. All right, so I'm given an equation for angular velocity 0 0.005 theta squared. Determine the angular acceleration. All right, I'm given the angular velocity. I want to find the angular acceleration. Is that a derivative or an integral? Given velocity and you want to find acceleration. Derivative. Yeah, that's derivative. Which derivative? Um, it is not. Um, so if we had our formula sheet, we could look at all those derivatives. Um, <clears throat> It's not just the derivative of omega with respect to time, because this is not in terms of time. All right, this is not in terms of time, so I can't do that one. Uh, but I do have this one, omega equals, sorry, alpha equals omega d omega d theta. All right, that, that's on your formula sheet. Where did it come from? A, remember v d v d s. Remember v d v d s? This is the same thing, omega d omega d theta. All right, so we can find this. So alpha equals, so first just, just, just rewrite this uh, velocity. So first rewrite the angular velocity, and now to take the derivative of that, what would the derivative of that be? 2.005 theta, you know, to the one power. So there's my equation for acceleration. And maybe I'll just go ahead and rewrite it before I start plugging things in. Man, it's all right. Very, very point zero 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 five theta cubed is my um, equation for my um, acceler acceleration. And it wants to know the acceleration after it's rotated 20 revolutions. I can't plug in 20. I've got to change revolutions to radians. We, and it's the same one that we just used, 125.66. Uh, 125.66. 99.2 radians per second squared. 99.2 radians per second squared. All right, but you see how that was so, so similar to V D V D S? Now it's omega D omega D theta. All right, but do, do not use constant acceleration equations on this one. Don't use constant acceleration equations on this one. How about the next one? 